What's going on everyone? Today we're doing some welding. We're uh, fabricating some uh, brackets for a 3P manifold to have it uh, sit uh, basically 90 degrees down like this. And that way it'll sit over here and then we can run the lines underneath. So I'm just in the process of sort of playing around with some flat bar. Um, not the most amazing welds, but you know, they're strong and they work. Uh, eh, kind of like, but uh, they're not too bad to be honest with you. They're strong, that's all I care about in this particular case. Um, and uh, just simple stuff, basically some uh, 1 8 inch flat bar, uh, you know, that I chop up to pieces. Um, we're gonna be actually making a compressor bracket as well. So this this is gonna be a little bit uh, a little bit nicer. Where it's basically a square bar. It's gonna sit like that, and then uh, it's gonna have a top plate, bottom plate, and of course a lower plate with a base. And then the compressor will be able to sit on an angle like that. You know, kind of the common compressor brackets, but we're kind of doing it a little bit. So all I like to do is what I like to get is a lot of flat kind of flat bar. I like to get rounded. Uh, uh, pieces as well from a local supply store. I get my stuff mostly from metal supermarkets There is a there's a metal supply store at pretty much every sort of local city that you live in. This is a this is a quarter inch uh, Flat bar, I guess you could say no three sixteens There you go three sixteens um, Not as flimsy. It's a lot harder. It's a lot harder nicer really good for bases. I might use this as a base actually for the compressors. So it'll, it'll, it'll uh, sit like that. But uh, I like to get these, this is as well as a square. I like to get a lot of like sort of the stock pieces and I buy them, uh, I buy them, they're, they're basically offshoots. They're offshoot pieces that you could purchase um, in this particular case per pound, uh, per pound I guess, or whatever the weight is, total weight to give you a price and just put it on top of the scale. And then they quote you a, a price. So for all this stuff, I paid 20 bucks. But it makes it really cool because then you can weld up like really cool sort of like elevation brackets like these for manifolds. Um, you know, when you're uh, when you're uh, installing it. So, you know, above tanks and stuff like that. So they're really, really kind of like sturdy holders um, that I like to use. So today we're going to be, this one I just fabricated. This one is for a manifold to set at 90. So this one's pretty much done, and it's uh, the, the spacing and the holes are designed for um, was a 3P in particular. So this will work on 3P. I just gotta basically sand it and, uh, and and paint it. So this one this one is done, but uh, we're going to be in the process of creating uh, a compressor bracket. So stay tuned. All right, so here we got a Viar compressor. I measured uh, this piece. From here to here is approximately four and a half, uh, four and a quarter inches, actually, four and a quarter inches. So we're gonna take the pieces. Um, here, a flat bar, which I marked, four and a half, because those are gonna be our actual brackets that are gonna go on top of brackets that are gonna go on top, see, approximately that, that are gonna go on top here. I'm gonna weld up, have one here and then one on the bottom to support brackets for the actual compressor. So uh, we're gonna cut that up, put them in and uh, weld them up and uh, figure it out. Now I measured the length of the compressor and uh, this is about 10 inches, 10 inches long. And it seems like it's almost perfect. And uh, this is a cut offshoot that, that seems to have worked out really well because if I uh, well this guy which is four and a quarter here you know on top of here you will give me a nice top plate for it obviously not like that because it's gonna go like this you know that'll give me a nice kind of holder for the compressor so I think 10 inches is sort of the magic number here uh, show you guys what I mean in a minute so that's pretty much all I need from the standard compressor, the standard Viar compressor, and uh, I'll be able to. Uh, well, I'll have to measure the, the separation here and here, but I know that the first plate I'm going to weld up over here, 
right at the edge, right? So give me a little bit of, of, of movement over here that I can adjust correctly. Yeah, so we put the puppy in the vise. We're gonna chop it. I wish I had a plasma cutter, but unfortunately I don't. One day, uh, get all good, good old handy saw here, and then chop it up. I put the uh, shield uh, right on top over here because when I'm gonna be cutting it, it'll protect me so it doesn't get into my eye. Now, um, always wear, obviously, head protection. There you go. You know, these shields are, uh, are amazing when it comes to working in the shop. And uh, we're going to just chop this guy up and uh, get our four and a quarter inch plates that we're going to use for the top and the bottom mounting brackets of the actual legs of the compressor. Okay, so I went ahead and I cut uh, four of these plates because I'm going to need it for two compressors because uh, each bracket for each compressor. I went ahead and I uh, welded it up. Uh, again, not the best welds, but uh, they work. And um, basically that's what it's going to be. It's going to kind of elevate the compressor up like that. So I will it up one plate. I'm going to work on the base right now actually in order to attach it to the base. And uh, then I'll be able to, because that way I'll be able to kind of twist them or however I want to be able to install them. So that way it'll kind of elevate the, the, com the compressors up uh, facing upwards. So they're a little bit up, up in the air. It's a kind of an interesting thing where you can go pretty well. So one's already welded. I'm going to first concentrate, I think I'm doing the base. I think I'm going to do that base like that and then I'm going to have uh, sort of plates over here, four plates over here so the base will sort of, not sure, maybe I'll use that length because it'll give it a, a nice sort of a nice plate, nice base we'll have to see, make it nice and clean. Make it like that and I guess We'll make it like this, and then that way it'll kind of elevate the, the compressors, and then I can put the holes through here, and it'll be a nice sort of a solid base. Or maybe what I'll do is I'll just use this as a base, and uh, kind of put two holes here, and that will kind of elevate the compressors. But I want it a little bit more sturdy, so we might make it like that. Okay, so I went ahead and I uh, welded the base plate. Again, not the best welds, but uh, let's zoom into this shit. They work, you know what I mean? Clean them up, we'll be good. As long as they're strong, they don't break, that's all that matters for me. So I went ahead and welded up one of the brackets. So I guess you guys kind of get the idea where the compressor is going to say, this is the top plate. I'm going to weld up another top plate here. I just got to measure it out. So another one is going to go like that. And that will, that will kind of give an, uh, sort of like a, a slanted compressor base. I just put a compressor up to it, so it's approximately up to here. Uh, the thing I'm having a problem with is, obviously, there's no support here because I kind of want to make it floating. So the best way I think what I'm going to do to make more support is once I weld up the other bracket, I'm going to sort of put a plate over here because I can't really screw in a hole, uh, a, a, a screw through here and it seems to sort of wobble over here naturally because the weight of the compressor kind of pushes it uh, pushes it down. You don't need an engineering degree to figure that out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld up this sort of plate over here, put two holes in here, and then have another hole over here. So it'll mount from three spots because I kind of want to retain the, 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 the floating look to it. And once this is all sort of painted in black on a nice black surface or anything like that, it will be a little bit you know, more seamless, so it'll look better. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld up this little plate here, drill two holes for the bolts, so at least this whole piece over here will be bolted down as extra extra support, and then I don't really need to meld up another plate over here to keep it more clean. I'm just gonna kinda of make, make a hole in here in order to put a bolt through and then have it nicely attached to whatever piece I'm sort of attaching it to, usually a board or anything like that. I think I'm going to utilize this bracket in my Civic setup. I haven't decided yet because I'm going to be doing a hardline setup in the Civic. This little guy over here. So I might actually utilize this uh, compressor bracket for that. But so far so good. It looks really cool. I like uh, how it kind of looks. It's a lot different than what's available on the market. You can buy kits for compressor risers. 
or anglers sort of like that. I think for 30 or 40 bucks each that you weld up yourself and they send it to you, which is sort of plated. But I could kind of make this stuff myself. So I'm going to kind of come up with this idea, uh, weld this up over here so it'll give me so a little bit more, more support to hold the actual bracket and then we'll go from there. So I pretty much went around and uh, welded these up. As you guys can see, these, this is one plate over here for the bottom of the compressor. This is another plate for the uh, top of the compressor. Kind of polished them up a little bit. But uh, this is pretty much, you know, one bracket where I'm going to be able to sort of make two holes here and put two mounting spots or two uh, in here. Um, and then I'm going to drill one through here and then I'll be able to attach it. So that will give me a really nice solid, solid base. So this one is doesn't have the bottom plate uh, connected thus far, but uh, essentially, um, sort of going to be like a, a doohickey like this which will allow me to sort of put the compressors any way I want uh, most of the time can do it like that or do it like that and sort of do like a nice little kind of a setup so these these turn out pretty decent actually not too bad um, I like this uh, this design it's pretty solid obviously over here so you know you don't need that much to support the compressor but I'm going to put a compressor and show you guys how the compressor actually looks like um, but in the meantime, I'm going to weld up uh, this lower plate over here, but I got to measure out putting the compressor on top of it. And uh, these pretty much are going to be wrapped up. And uh, I'll show you guys the final product of how it, how it looks with the compressor on it. Yeah, pretty sweet. I kind of wanted to retain as much of a floating aspect of it as possible without doing too 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 complicated sort of like you know having the compressor kind of flowing up which is kind of what I was going after as you guys can see there's these are the plates um, they're underneath the compressors right here so I don't know looks pretty uh, looks pretty cool actually I like it and then I'll be able to mount it up from two spots here which will give a lot of sort of uh, uh, support here for the base and then I'm gonna have one one hole here that's gonna touch it and that way it'll sort of give like a floating compressor look. So I hope you guys enjoy this uh, this video. It's not really a DIY, it's kinda of just showing you an idea and talking a little bit about, you know, some custom fabrication for brackets that you normally would not be able to buy out there that you kinda of have to fabricate yourself. Uh, I'm not using a TIG, I'm using a MIG welder, uh, like a $500 welder that you can buy anywhere and I just, I'm not an amazing welder or anything like that, but I'm a purpose-based welder where I make sure that all my, you know, welds have proper penetration, which is really, really important. That's what you want. You want to have that penetration to go through. That's how you know that it's uh, that it's strong. And uh, that's what I pride myself in, strong welds. Uh, not the most prettiest. That comes with time. And uh, again, this is my first year welding. So, but anywho, um, so this is just an idea for a compressor stand. I can't wait to sort of mount these up in a full hard line setup and have these compressors sort of floating. It's going to look pretty dope. Sweet. Thanks for watching.